mean, how do you not? You know, you gotta fish around Depot Island. Stop of the day. But he's in Richmond. In case you didn't know, it's not supposed to look like that. That's a pot, I'm afraid. Right there. Back down the hatches, boys. We're going on a boat ride. Getting ready to go to the here. It is early in the morning, still it's about 20 after 5. It's going to blow today. It's going to be early in the morning. It's good in here. One hook, it's off the nose. Are you kidding me? He's up in this boat. It's honestly crazy to think that that is the last uh, time for the year to be doing that for the Bass Pro Tour. Getting ready to head up to Michigan, Stage 7. Saginaw Bay. So this is the uh, the final installment for the 23 season of In the Boat. And uh, you know this, uh, I'm gonna try to do a better job, I'll be honest. I, I feel like I've been lacking here the last couple uh, last couple events. The last one especially, I know I, I did, a, did a terrible job on the water, but I also did a terrible job of, uh, of covering it. So I'm gonna try to do better on both accounts. Um, this uh this week but uh but man pretty excited for this event it's uh it's a place that i don't know that anybody in the field's ever competed so that makes it exciting for me i like going to new places and uh and seeing what they're all about so i'm gonna get hooked up right here and uh it's about 5 30 we've got about a nine hour drive ahead of us should be a pretty smooth drive uh, go past detroit and just on up about another hour hour and 15 minutes so gonna get her hooked up headed northbound here in just a minute. The thing I always do when I get in the truck is I empty my pockets. I'm gonna be in here for a long time. I just take take everything out of my pockets. Pile it up right there. Feels so much better for the whole ride. Survive the first stop of the day. Bucky's in Richmond. Got us a tank full of gas. We only started with about a half a tank anyway, so. Been a smooth couple That's hours. Nice. Got some snacks out of the back. Don't even go inside most of the time. If I can stop that way, that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna get back to rolling. Rolling on up the road. We've landed. Right there is the big, 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 very large, extremely big bay. Saginaw Bay, mouth of the rivers, right over there. Cool little spot we got here though. It's called a crazy view, is actually what it is, and that's pretty accurate I'd say. So, uh, but no, it should be a good spot for the week. Uh, it's not too bad of a drive up here when I got into Michigan, so I had a little bit of traffic, but nothing too bad. So. Pretty spot, weather is gorgeous. It's like 80, breeze, a lot better than the 95 and sticky high humidity that it is at home, so it feels really good. I think we'll all pretty uh pretty happy with the way the weather is up here you know it depends on the wind but temperature wise it's going to be a nice change of pace from what it's been at home for all of us so excited about andy's already here he got here just a few minutes ago ed it's going to be a little late he uh kate had a tournament he's had a lot going on so he's a little he's a little running a little behind which is not typical for Ed. we got this dude over here i don't know what he's doing but he's been here he's been here a minute he's watching somebody Something suspicious going on. He's got his eye on, so we'll keep an eye on him all week. But that's it. We've landed. Practice starts in the morning. Got a meeting here in a little bit. Go to that. We'll be tuned up, ready to go. Update. Been uh, trying to avoid this log right here. Avoid it completely. Missed that one, but I'm gonna hit this one. Alright, uh, been in the river the whole time, 
not seen any other boats whatsoever. I think I've called four, four or five storables, something like that. Uh, maybe six, I don't know. I've had, I had four smallmouth, one three pounder, a uh, pretty good one, and a couple two and a half. Um, all on Rocco, just cranking some rock, it's got current on it. Uh, one here, one there kind of deal, but uh, surprised that I caught smallmouth in here. Honestly, I, I, I assumed that there'd be a few, and there's several rivers down here on this end, and I've, I've been up, you know, of course, way, way up on them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I didn't realize that would be mostly smallmouth. But I had one decent looking fish hit a frog, I think was a bass, didn't get it, caught a small one on a frog. Large mound. Uh, yeah. And, uh, been a decent day. Andy and Andy's out in the lake, uh, but large mouth fishing. Ain't done much. Eddie's out in the lake, smallmouth fishing, he ain't done much. I don't know. Pretty in here, man. I, I really, I thought I'd be getting a lot more bites than I am. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be like super easy to catch a lot of two pounders, but I'm not, not done that yet. So we're going to stay after it. Got one more pretty big river in here to look at. Uh, then go out and kind of look at the backwater and stuff. Just exploring, looking around. Second morning update, that's a after 10. Uh, it's been a good morning as far as bites go. I had 25 bites I bet already. Uh, my best five would weigh a solid 10 pounds. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm out in the out in the lake, that's the ocean. That's the uh, Atlantic Gulf of California out there that is uh, but uh, had a lot of bites this morning it's been fun caught most of them on a buzz bay they just catch one on a swim jig got one flipping earlier a couple on frogs but yeah been a lot a lot of bites i think i had a couple decent ones hit a buzz bait missed i tried to catch them but i didn't uh, so not not a whole lot in the size category but Definitely see where you can get a number of bites to get in the right little, right little zone or two. So, don't keep looking around out here. Uh, a lot more people largemouth fishing today. Feel like everybody smallmouth fished yesterday, and nobody is today, just from the way it sounds. So, uh, man, if we can find a way to catch a few, three and a half, we'll be uh, be where we need to be. So keep plugging around. Trying to reel them in. In case you didn't know, it's not supposed to look like that. Smoked the rock pretty good earlier. The thing is, I didn't have all my skeg anyway. I'd already lost pieces of it multiple times, but uh, with that lick to the blades, it bit my shaft. So I, I'm still functioning, obviously, um, but uh, I'm gonna need a gear case. So it's, uh, man, it's already three o'clock. I've caught a bunch, 25, 30, something like that. Uh, buzz bait, you just get in those pencil reeds, and man, you can catch them, but uh, no size. I, I caught one three pound smallmouth out in some deeper grass, has been the biggest thing I've seen. So it's easy, pretty easy to get bit. Uh, I feel like I've missed a couple of fish that were better than the, you know, the fish I've caught on the buzz bait, but most of them are like two pounders, if they're that, and then occasionally you'll get a two and a quarter, uh, you know, so it, it, it's like a surefire way to catch 10 pounds. <laughs> That's the way it seems. But go back here and check this pipe, and then I'm gonna look around that place a little bit. I mean, how do you not, you know? You gotta fish around Depot Island. So we'll fish there a little bit and then uh, that's gonna be about it. So as of right now, 
I think I think I'll start in the river. Uh, not a hundred percent sure of it, but I think I will. Got to make the most out of the next couple hours of practice before it's time to wrap it up. Sure is pretty in here. Gorgeous. That's a nice one. That's the kind we need right there. Yeah, that's the kind we need right there. Hmm. Uh, all this mess. Don't think I'll flip again. That's pretty cool. Well, got a fresh gear case. Uh, got the prop out of my truck. And we've got a bunch of rods ready. So, group A. We start tomorrow and uh you know hoping for a hoping for a good day to get this thing kicked off so still a little tour i think i'm gonna start and we'll start up there in that bay i'm not gonna say i won't end up in the river still it's it's it's, it's, it's decision still yet maybe to be made but i hope i i hope i fish both of them truthfully tomorrow um you know they're the good thing is we can trailer, so I wouldn't have a lot of idle time to deal with. Um, but hopefully we can make it work. And uh, yeah, 14 pounds would be just, I'd be pretty happy with 14. Anything north of that would be be really thrilling. So we're going to get out there after it in the morning and try to uh, reel us in a good one. I'm shooting you, shooting me, Cody. Yeah, <laughs> camera on camera action. Yep. <laughs> Don't kill each other. <laughs> Idling out here. Uh, we, uh, we just took off, put in the, up here where I did yesterday. And I'm going to go start where I caught that four pounder. So I don't know any other, any better place to start than where I caught the biggest fish I've caught since I've been here. So hopefully he's got some buddies around. We're going to go in there and poke around a little bit. And there was actually a canal just above that too that had some real deep water in it. Uh, fish just a minute in there didn't get any bites but it sure was pretty so i think i'll, I'll start in those couple and just kind of see where it goes from there i know i can get a bunch of bites down here in this bay uh, but uh you know i don't know about the size on them so we'll go up here and chunk around hopefully we start reeling in some bass that's a pike i'm afraid 